Uh, Finn Shap for Scotland, boys. Scotland's dead, you know. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, they were they were great, you know. They they were the star of the video for a little bit, but now they're gone. Ireland is there and Sweden, but you know, S Scotland, we shall miss you for the rest of this video. Rest in peace, Scotland. Hello and welcome to another video. Today we will be looking at Crete. Yes, this small little island that uh, would usually get destroyed by the Byzantines. But in this game, they're going to crush the Byzantines, or at least hopefully. So I've buffed this nation, and I also have been using a mod for this video. And I need you guys to check this mod out. It's a pretty cool mod. It gives this uh, nation here that is really weak kind of this starting buff that doesn't make them too powerful. And actually, I think could be cool in regular games. Like, it doesn't make that much of a difference. I think it just challenges the Byzantines and some of these powerful nations. So the link is going to be down in the description below. It's like, elevate the Emirate Crete. It's amazing. It's super cool. I need you guys to check it out. It doesn't have enough support on the Steam Workshop, so if you want to check it out, link's in the description. But Crete will probably uh, murder the Byzantines. At least that's what I'm hoping for. They're really buffed. The ruler is OP. Um, he may be immortal, so he doesn't lose land. Um, and when I mean immortal, he just lives a little bit longer. It doesn't actually make him immortal. But he has some good stats, gave him some bonus gold and stuff like that. So hopefully we see Crete kill the Byzantines. So this could have big effects for a lot of the area because since it is an island nation, it could go after Northern Africa, it could go after Abbasid and kind of where the Crusades happen, it can go after Italy, it can go after the Byzantines. It's going to be interesting to see who they strike first. And we started and it looks like they're going after the Byzantines immediately and I am happy about that. They're, they might actually... Thank you so much. This is what I want to see. Yes, it's going perfectly as planned. The Byzantines are going to get crushed. <laughs> okay, guys, if this video gets 100 likes, I'll buff the Byzantines in my next video. I know some people want to see it, so if you get this video to 100 likes, the next video, I'll buff the Byzantines, and we'll see if they can do a world conquest. But, you know, it's just because they're getting crushed in this one. The island of Crete, or the Emirate of Crete, is doing uh, really good. They got Egypt, uh, so I think they might be a kingdom or empire. They're close to making an empire. They have three kingdoms. Uh, yeah, so they got Egypt, so they're a little bit stronger than I thought they were going to be. And I also did a test run, and they didn't get this powerful this fast. I didn't expect them to get all of Egypt. Um, so hopefully they don't get too powerful and... Uh, world conquest but like we kind of like saying that so like maybe it's not that bad so yeah let's just keep going and i swear i know like the last time we buffed a nation it was france i did not leave the buffs on they're just happening to do really good so i did not buff france this time they're doing it on their own they just want to have the spotlight on them again big blue bob part two i also feel like making the episode not collapse would also be a good video because like man they just blow up every time. Like, why even have them in the game? I know it's because they make historical maps, but like, yo, Abbasid, keep it together. See what I did there? Because they're a nation and they blow up. Yeah. Well, yeah, sorry. I don't think this nation's normal here in India. I don't usually see them. I usually notice pretty big nations. Same with Paula. I, I don't know if this is abnormal or if I just don't look at India enough, but this is pretty cool. Maybe we'll have to keep an eye out to see if they keep doing uh, cool stuff in India. I'm not sure though. This could literally be normal and I just realized it for the first time. What What's happening in this video? We also have Scotland doing amazing too. I've never seen like a nation do this. It's a North Scotland and they're getting super close to actually conquering the British Isles. I've never seen any AI actually ever conquered the British Isles. This is the best I've ever seen. Uh, hopefully they keep going strong. It'd be really cool to see and probably the first time I've ever seen it. So hopefully Scotland keeps going. The Emirate of Crete is doing fantastic. They're really expanding in Africa. They did take a big chunk out of the Byzantines as well. But you know, Scotland is really maybe outshining. Same with Sweden. These two nations are doing extremely well, like almost on par with uh, this Crete. So we're going to have to see uh, if they're going to stick together. So this is really interesting game because uh, since the Byzantines won't be here, they'll be able to expand more. But, you know, whenever the Byzantines really don't do it, there's a lot of room for a lot of other powers to, you know, grow because the Byzantines usually just murder everyone. Some of you might have asked the question at this point, hey Grave, why are you calling them Crete and not Hafsid? Because I don't know if Hafsid is actually the way you pronounce it and I'm scared of pronouncing things wrong. 
So thank you. So we'll concrete half said, you know, it's one of them, you know. Why the fudge is Italy over here? You know, Portagor is my favorite thing. Sorry, that was that was inappropriate. I will stop. This might be the most prominent we've ever seen someone try to steal a video. Cause like Scotland, they're trying. Really, really, really trying. They have Sweden now too. And all of, like almost all of the British Isles. They just get Ireland. They have the British Isles. Yeah, they're really trying to steal this video from Crete slash half Sid. Crete themselves are doing pretty good. Um they they, they could be doing better. Um, you know, it does take a little bit to kill the Byzantines because they are still a powerful nation. Um, but, you know, they're getting a lot of land in Africa. The only thing that stinks, though, is this land is usually not as well developed as Europe is. So hopefully this doesn't hinder their ability and they still can expand. But hopefully Scotland just doesn't take the entire spotlight because they're trying to. This is probably a good time to mention Hafsid did form their own empire so it did change some of the uh the borders up it's pretty much egypt plus you know some kingdoms in the byzantine empire uh they're, they're doing pretty good uh they might fall apart at some point we usually do see that but you know for now they're doing excellent i think scotland is potentially successfully stealing this video spotlight this is so impressive i've never seen anyone in the british isles do decent and they almost have all of the british isles and almost all of scandinavia this is literally one of the best nations i've ever seen and this is not buffed whatsoever i like feel like i'm faking this video and i buffed them but i didn't this scotland is just insane if they get iceland they they win i i'd give them the victory at this point because they're insane crete's doing good but like you gotta remember, this nation is buffed, and I buff usually pretty decently, and they're doing, like, just as good as Scotland. Because you gotta remember, land in Africa, like, not all of this is, like, inhabitable land. Like, there's a whole bunch of areas that, like, literally are worth nothing, where Scotland has all valuable land. So this, this is, this is so interesting. And I guess the Arabian Empire is here somehow. I don't know how that happened. That's kind of weird and interesting. But, you know, still, they're doing pretty good for being buffed but scotland is doing fantastic scotland made their own empire so yeah so instead of making britannia which i wanted them to do they made the empire of scotland so the empire of scotland is scotland england and sweden that's pretty freaking cool i uh i'm shocked i didn't buff them um thank you scotland for making this video even more interesting that's also why I love doing these videos. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, Paradox Games, literally, you don't know what's going to happen. So thank you so much, Scotland, for making this video kind of cool. Um, we'll see if Crete can make it cool too. And, you know, pick it up a little bit. They've kind of stagnated. Maybe if they get, like, Ethiopia and the Horn of Africa, it'll be good. I feel like this just happened in a video. We have the Mongolia Empire formed again. I don't know how this keeps on happening. Mongolia usually doesn't form until the Horde comes. So yeah, this is a non-Horde Empire, which is, we have probably the most empires I've ever seen. Let's see, we have Mongolia, uh, this one, that's Iberia, Crete, the Byzantines are technically an empire. Not really. Khazaria is technically an empire. Scotland's an empire. Yeah, this is like the most empires we've ever had before like the end of a game. That's one, two, three, four, five. We have six empires empires right now and like there's room for more like we have iberia that could be coming out i don't know what's going on man i just i just buffed one nation i it's, it's going crazy i love it though i love it ireland needs to chill out they're messing up uh scotland and it's starting to get me mad so you know ireland chill out what the hell is going on i this is this is the weirdest game i've ever done let's take a look at religion what the hell is what the hell is going on a shrew? Yeah, a shrew's going good because Scotland was that. But like, what the fudge are these religions? I've seen these before. They're very small Catholic Christian religions. But never this powerful. What the fudge is going on? And like, this land's converted. So Bavaria and like East Francia have been these religions for a while. I, this is, this is, I want to say bad words, but you know, YouTube will demonetize me and I like money because, you know, money's good. But what the hell is, what is going on? I literally have no idea. Scotland was in it for a little bit but they lost because uh i'm pretty sure it's because of the pope the pope did a crusade against them because technically they're not catholic they're a strew so now scotland has crumbled they're still technically an empire and they're still pretty powerful but it's gonna take a lot of hard work to get it back to their peak so they're still in it but maybe not gonna win
On the other hand, Kazaria is still here, and Kazaria, I have to say, they usually fall apart really early on. They usually don't make it this far into the game, so I'm really proud of them. I'm also getting really proud of Crete because they're starting to expand. They're really taking Antolia and Greece, so it's great to see them expand. I think they will probably get the Horn of Africa and maybe even the, uh, not the Iberian Peninsula. I always say that. It's on the Arabic Peninsula? It's the Arabian Peninsula. I knew that. I was just testing to see who would comment and tell me. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. The Emirate of Crete are attacking the Pope and good, cause I think the Pope is one of the most boring nations in the game because you cannot play them, but they just have a bleeping F ton of gold, but not when you're getting destroyed by this large empire. So thank you, uh, Hafsid. Uh, keep destroying the Pope. There is another religion that I've never seen before in this video, Cathar. And it's like not even like a small nation that has it. It's a pretty big nation. Uh, Upper Burgundy is Cathar. I've never, I've never seen this one where this other uh, Waldenism or whatever. I've seen that one before, but Cathar I've never seen ever. And I don't know why it's here. And it's cool because you play a thousand five hundred hours of uh, this game and you still find a new religion. Pretty cool. What What is this one? I've seen this one. Iconoclasm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that one. I've seen that one. But still, the Cathar, pretty interesting. Speaking of Khazar, Khazaria is dead. Uh, they lasted pretty long, um, but they finally died. Scotland is... I don't know what the hell they're doing. They're just creating ugly borders. Look how far they've... Exp oh my god, there's two Scotlands. No. There's the Empire of Scotland, and then there's the Kingdom of Scotland, and that's annoying. But the Empire of Scotland is very wide, but very weak. And yeah, I don't know what they're doing. And Crete, Emory of Crete, hopefully they don't blow up here. There's a big independence war. Hopefully they don't lose everything here. Yeah, that would suck. The Emory of Crete slash Hasfid uh, lost some land. They lost a big chunk of land. I think they're still super powerful. I don't think this is the end for them, but you know, it is definitely a setback. Well, yeah, yeah, it's a setback, but all these nations are pretty weak. They should be able to get it all back. I don't know if they have claims. No, they don't. Ha oh, they have some claims on some of this land, so yeah, it should, they should be good. They should be good. Effing chat for Scotland, boys. Scotland's dead, you know. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, they were they were great, you know. They, they were the star of the video for a little bit, but now they're gone. Ireland is there and Sweden, but, you know. S Scotland, we shall miss you for the rest of this video. Rest in peace, Scotland. I was about to mention Burgundy and Upper Burgundy, but right when I went to say something, they both blew up. And that's sad. They were both doing really good. One was Cathar, which was a unique religion, and the other one was a Catholic. But, you know, they're both dead now, so it doesn't matter. Crete is still kind of struggling with this land here. They haven't been able to get back uh, kind of Antolia, so hopefully they're able to, especially because this one, Yaid, is really powerful. Uh, they've gotten a lot of power, so I don't know if they're going to be able to take back the land at this point. Hafsid lost even more land they everything in greece got their independence they expanded over into italy and kind of like killed the pope a little bit but now it's like two separate nations you pretty much have egypt and then you kind of have this weird nation here that's not like any nation that's ever existed weird borders thing um but you know i they're still powerful they're still doing good but you know it's gonna take a long time maybe to the end of the game to get all the power back that they had at one point so hopefully they figure it out but you know i'm not sure i don't think i mentioned this but they did convert to being greek at one point so the, the little island of crete that they uh, start on um i think is half greek and half uh what culture it's barnus and i think they switched over to greek because most of the land they held was greek which is unfortunate because i rather them say Barnus than go to the Greek that remind me of the Byzantines. But it's okay, you know. They don't even, like, hold any of the lands the Byzantines did, so they're not comparable at this point, so I'll give them a break. We also have this weird blue nation up here, which you, we've never seen, but it's a different nation that we've sometimes seen, and the reason why it's weird is because they're an Islamic nation here, and so this kingdom, um, which I can't pronounce now or really don't pronounce before is kind of taking over where they usually don't so we might see them grow uh they don't have any buffs or anything but they're still very powerful 
Havsid is getting more and more powerful, like they're starting to pick it up, but they refuse to like make their borders clean, so I'm getting frustrated. Look at this, this is disgusting. It's two separate nations and it's just getting bigger and bigger. For the love of God, please, Mongols, come over here and wipe them out. I need you to take them out. They, they're, they're, they're going too crazy. You need, to, you need to take them out. We have a super interesting empire that formed here. It's kind of like this Poland mixed with France empire. Uh, it's not even an empire yet, but it should be. It's like Poland, France. It's kind of interesting because it was Poland and then he conquered France. So very interesting to see something unique. We've had a lot of very unique things in this game. So. Hafsid slash Crete, um, they're amazing, they're fantastic, they're huge. Uh, but what you haven't realized is that the religion has spread everywhere. Yes, this is a religion that's pretty small in this game. It is a Islamic faith and it is huge. Even though that they don't control this land, their uh, influence has spread quite a bit because almost everyone has this religion now. And we're not even close to the end game. We might actually get full world conversion on this game, which would be quite amazing. The religion that we usually see that's Islamic is the Ashari. So this is, uh, I think, the other one that is actually modern. There's like uh, Sunni and Shia, and I think both of these are relative to these two religions. I could be wrong, don't quote me. I have done a little studying on the Islamic faith, but not that much in college. I kid you not, I went to go have dinner, and I don't know where they went. They're gone. I, I don't even know. I couldn't even like, well, I see them, but like, I can't even tell you what's happening. What happened? Like, I don't know. They're just, they're gone. <laughs> it's pretty funny to me. Um, Yeah, so they're here back on the island. And the ruler didn't die. He's still alive. So I actually have no idea how they lost all the land. But they're gone. But you know what that means? We have empires that formed because of them. We have this Russian empire or pretty close to the Russian empire. This Indian nation is something else, which looks sick. I've never seen an Indian nation look that good, but we have like 150 years left and it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, with Cree kind of dead, well, they, they could come back. I don't think so. Holy cow, it's because they're 10k gold in debt. We'll, 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 we'll see. It's, this is pretty crazy, pretty crazy stuff going on. We are at the end of the game and I have to say this has been a pretty weird one. Uh, Overall, this has been one of the weirder games we've had. A lot of weird things has happened. Um, there's a lot of empires that we usually don't see, like this empire. I, th I can't even pronounce half of these. Well, half of them are half Sid. Like, this is half Sid something, half Sid something. Everything's related to half Sid. Uh, so, that is something. Uh, we got the Deccan Empire over here. You know, it's looking good. And religion is why it's so different. We have this islamic faith that we almost never see be very prevalent is usually the ashar ashari that's pretty prevalent this one very rarely does anything this usually is in crete and in egypt and it doesn't spread too much but since we buffed crete and half said it really expanded and it's quite interesting to see we have so many empires there's been a lot of empires we usually don't even see in this game we see the remnants of scotland there's another one made by poland germania formed at some point like it's been pretty interesting to say the least, um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, the Hafsid are still here. They are very weird. And the reason why is because their army was way so big that they couldn't afford to keep it running. But you know, it is what it is. And it's just interesting. They are Greek, which is kind of upsetting. I wish they stayed their uh, native uh, culture, but you know, once yet, get constantinople you kind of uh change to the tides because you know it's a lot of power but thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos they are on the screen now i also did one where i buffed france or just united france and then there's gonna be another time lapse but thank you so much for watching see you in a future video if you want to join the discord link is in the description below so is twitter so see you later bye